to another Yoga Anywhere video. I'm so glad that you've decided to join me today. Very, very excited to have you here today. And a couple of weeks ago, we broke down Sun Salutation A. And one of the hardest parts about Sun Salutation A is doing a proper Chaturanga. So that's high to low push-up. And that's usually because of strength. So today we're gonna go through a couple of different uh, exercises to build your strength up when it comes to doing Chaturanga. So all you need is the yoga mat and something comfortable to wear, and let's get started. So we're going to start by coming into a tabletop position. We're going to inhale right leg out behind us. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to shift our weight forward like we're going into Chaturanga. We're going to dip ourselves down, maybe touching our nose. Inhale back up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale, knee to nose. Continue like this for five more rounds. One, two, well two, no. <laughs> Three, four, last one. Five, really good, that's super hard. Okay, we've gotta switch sides. So, inhale, left leg back, and let's get started. We'll do five on this side. So inhale deeply, exhale lower, inhale up, knee to nose, exhale. Inhale back, exhale lower, inhale up, knee to nose. Inhale back, exhale lower, inhale up, Exhale, knee to nose. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale back, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale, knee to nose. Really good, that's so hard. Let's take a child pose. So toes together, knees about as wide as your mat, and just sink yourself back. Whew, really good. Take a nice deep inhale. Side out through your mouth if you're feeling a little bit out of breath. Really good. All right, coming up as you're ready. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to come into sort of a half plank, like a knees, chest, chin. So basically I'll show you what knees, chest, chin looks like. So we come into plank pose. And instead of going down into our chaturanga, we drop our knees, chest, chin, cobra, downward facing dog. So basically, we're going to come like we dropped our knees. And we're just going to practice doing a couple of push-ups like this. So weight forward, down, up, down, up. We're going to do five more. One. Two, engage your core. Three, four, five. Really good child's pose. Taking a nice deep inhale, side out, exhale. All right, as you're ready, coming back up. So the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna hold a plank and we're gonna do it for 30 seconds. So basically you wanna have your wrist directly underneath your shoulders. We're gonna step one foot back and then the other foot back and we're just gonna hold. I'm gonna start my timer. All right, so you just wanna be nice and straight. You don't want your butt up in the air. You don't want it sinking. This is really uncomfortable. Just nice and straight, bubbling a little bit through the shoulders. Nice and strong through your core. And remembering to breathe. We are 30 seconds in. We are halfway there. Wait, did I say we're doing 30 seconds or one minute? We're doing one minute.
and five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, child's pose. Ooh, so good. All right. So you're going to want to take a second to just stretch out your arms here. So bring your arms up, bend at your elbow. Just come into a traditional tricep stretch. And switch. And really great job. If you do that once a day for the next couple of months, you'll find that every time you go to do chaturanga, you're going to feel a little bit stronger. And it's just about building those muscles up, getting that practice in, and just feeling better and better about the practice all the time. Releasing your arms down. Thank you so much for joining me today for this short video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next week. Bye. Thank you.